Okay, so here we keep going on the fall 2021 AMC 10A problem 18. A farmer's rectangular field is partitioned into a two by two grid of four rectangular sections as shown in the figure. In each section, the farmer will plant one crop, corn, wheat, soybeans, and this is the key word, or potatoes. Uh, when I first solved it, I wasn't quite sure. Do they mean that I don't have to have one of each crop? I wasn't quite sure yet, but we'll see how you can unravel that mystery by progressing in the problem. The farmer does not want to grow corn and wheat in any two sections that share a border. I'm gonna call that group A, and it's gonna be corn and wheat. And then group B, um, it says also, uh, and the farmer does not want to grow soybeans and potatoes. I'm going to call soybeans Y and potatoes P. Again, I hate the letter S for variables. Um, in any two sections, so I use the Y, sections that share a border. So group A cannot share a border. Group B cannot share a border. So that's how I did that. Given these restrictions, in how many ways can the farmer choose crops to plant in each of the four sections of the field? Well, first, I assumed that you had to have one of each and see what happens. Okay, well, if you assume that you have to have one of each, uh, later, by the way, this will become case five. One, 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 and one. So I'm gonna do it at the same time to save time. If I had one of each, how would it go? Well, corn and wheat could not be here and here or here and here. So first I would pick, do I want group A to go this caddy corner, like opposite diagonal or this diagonal? Because they have to be diagonal from each other if this use this case. So I said, okay, if I put uh, C, let's make my own little small case here. If I put uh, C and W like this, there was two choices basically for which diagonal you wanted them to be on. Once you had made that choice, you can order them in two different ways. I can switch their order. Finally, the other two must go in this corner and there's two arrangements for them. So this case only gives eight ways and that ain't close to the answers. Actually, it's close to this one, but there was nothing else there. So that tells me by the or, they mean you do not have to include all crops in each arrangement. So I'm gonna put eight ways here. I'm gonna go ahead, that immediately tells me I need to make cases. This ended up being case five. I said case one is four, zero, zero, zero. Uh, case two is I'm gonna lower the four down by one to three, make one of the other ones one, zero, and zero. There's no more with three. Don't worry about arrangements right now, okay? Just there's three of one type, one of another, the other two are zero. Case three would be uh, lower this to two, maximize the other to two and have two zeros. And case four was two, one, one, one. Okay. So I just started going through the cases. If all four crops are of only one type, I don't have to worry about the group situation. There's four ways to do it because you could pick one of the four crops. That's it, four ways. So that one was easy. I put that in a circle. Three, one, zero, zero. Now, uh, could I have corn and wheat be the three and the one in some order? No, because there would be no place to put the wheat that would be able to go with the corn. So the first thing is you have four choices for which one is going to have three. And once you choose that crop, say it was corn, I no longer can choose wheat for the crop to have one. So then I would multiply times one of these two, either soybeans or potatoes, one of those two, so there's two choices to make. So I do four times two, this is fundamental counting principle. Now, all you've done right now is chosen which crops, you have not arranged them. We're gonna have to arrange them next. So uh, it's going to be basically, um, you could do four choose two places to put the zeros. I, uh, wait, hold on, no, we got three and one. Actually, I'm sorry, I think it's something else. Uh, there's three, you could pick one place, the one that has only one, right? Say it was potatoes. Which one of these is gonna be potatoes? Once you've made that choice, the other by default become the corn or whatever the one that you chose to have three of. So there was really four choices at this point. Again, the four choices are where are you gonna place this one? You're not placing the zeros actually, that's my mistake. And when you're placing, you only have three and one, like three corns and one potato. So which region gets the potato? You have four choices for that. Four times four is 16 times two is 32. So this had 32. 
if you're just careful and we're being careful, you'll get this problem right. So case three, the two, two, zero, zero. Okay, so now we're gonna have to have subcases. Um, if I chose the corn and the wheat, or do we? Let's see. If I had corn and wheat as my two and two, how could I arrange them? Could I put the two corns here? Nope. Could I have the two corns caddy corner? Nope. Could I have the two corns here? Nope. So we don't really have subcases. You're going to have to pick one of the two crops from group A. That's going to be two choices. We put a two times one of the crops from group B. That's two choices. Again, for the sake of argument, let's say I chose corn and potatoes again. So these don't have any restrictions because they're not in the same group. I just got to place these now. And how do you do that? Well, there's four regions and there's specific regions, upper left, upper right, and so on. So of those four regions, I want to choose two to be corn. So I used four choose two, which you should know is six. This gives us six ways, two times two times six, and by default, the potatoes go in the other one. Again, it's two choices for either corn or wheat. You have to pick something from group A, one thing from group B, you have two choices, and then six ways to arrange those uh, four crop, well, two, two corns and two potatoes, whatever ones you chose. So four times six, this is 24. Okay, case four, this is two, uh, one, no, 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 it should be two, one, one, zero, sorry. Okay, so two, one, one, zero. All right, now, if I do from the same group, um, let's say I did, again, this is the one that has the subcases actually. Let's say I have two corn, for instance. First, pick a group that you're gonna pick the two from. You have two choices for that. Once you've chosen that group, which crop are you going to have two of? Uh, let's say we did corn again, just to keep it simple. That's two times two. Okay, so now we've got our two corns. Could we possibly have, I mean, there's not subcases. I thought there was. Maybe, could we possibly have a uh, wheat to be picked right now? Actually, no. Why not? Because if we, we're going to put the wheat. If you go like this, you can't put the wheat there. If I move the corn over here, I cannot put the wheat here or here. It'd be adjacent to corn, can't have that. If you go horizontal, can't place the wheat. So actually, I lied. Well, I didn't lie. I just forgot how I'm going to do it, but I figured it out by reasoning right now alive on the video. So there was two choices for which group you picked. Once you chose the group that you're going to pick from, uh, we could also say just pick a crop to have four of, right? There's or two of. There's four choices for that crop. That also gives you the same value of four. Once you've decided that, again, assume it's corn, I'm going to have to take one of each of these. Okay. So then now I've got my decision. I've got two corns. I've got one soybean and one potato. All right, great. So two, one, one, and then obviously zero is the wheat. Now, once we've made that choice, there were four ways to make that selection. We didn't have a choice with soybeans and potatoes. They have to be the other one and one because wheat cannot. Okay. It's forced decision. Now the placement. Well, I would focus on the wheat and potatoes, or the, I'm sorry, the uh, soybeans and potatoes. They have to go diagonally from each other. So are they gonna go here or here? That's two choices. Once I've made that choice, say I chose this one and this one, you have two arrangements of the soybeans and the potatoes. I could put Y here, P here, or P here, Y here. Same thing, right? Two ways. Now, once I've placed those, do I get to really place the corn? No, it's whatever's left. That's corn now. And so this is it. Four times two times two. This came out to be 16. Now it's just adding. So I've got 40 with 32 and eight. I've got another 40 with 24 and 16. So you've got 40 plus 40 is 80 plus four, 84. That's gonna give you C. Let's get to problem 19. 